Hi, and welcome to our Total Duct Leakage Video Quick Guide. The first step is to prepare the duct system and the building for the test. To prepare the duct system, turn off the air handler, remove the furnace filter, and temporarily seal off all the registers. We will be using duct mask register sealing film to do that. To prepare the building, open a door or window to the exterior, and if ducts run through any unconditioned spaces, open those spaces to the exterior. Next, we will connect the duct blaster fan to the duct system. We will start out with a pressurization test. If the duct system has only one or two returns, you can connect directly to the largest return grill. If you often see central wall grills, our optional 20 by 20 duct attachment plate will work well. If you have two or more returns, you should connect directly to the air handler cabinet. If you are doing a pressurization test, you do not need to use the flex duct and connect the fan directly to the air handler cabinet. We will be demonstrating a connection directly to the air handler cabinet using the flex duct. Now we will attach the gauge board to the furnace and make the cord connection to the fan. Before we plug the controller into the wall, we should make sure the fan controller is turned off. Now connect the other end of the tube to a static pressure probe and insert it into the closest supply register or into the supply trunk line several feet away from the air handler fan. Another option is to put it in the supply plenum, but only if the duct blaster fan is connected to a central return. Next, we will add the DG1000 gauge to the gauge board. After the home screen loads, touch Tubing Assistant to launch this app. This will help you to set up the tubing, mode, and device configuration. Choose Duct Leakage, Pressurize, Inside the Building, Duct Blaster Fan. Launch the gauge app. Notice that the mode is now set at pressure flow at 25. And the device is set to duct blaster B. Confirm that the ring configuration on the gauge matches the ring configuration on the duct blaster fan. Connect the green tubing to the channel A input tap and the red tubing to the channel B input tap. Tap on the settings icon and enter the conditioned floor area. Gradually increase the fan speed until the pressure shown on channel A is between 20 and 30 pascals. Record the CFM flow from channel B. Now change the mode to CFM at 25 per 100 square feet. You may choose to do a depressurization test instead of a pressurization test. This test will suck the register sealing film up against the register and avoid having the tape blow off. For this test, we will need to turn the fan around. We will also need to install the flow conditioner to the inside of the round transition piece. The flow conditioner is inserted into the round transition piece by lining up the crescent-shaped key slot on the outside of the foam disc with the key indentation inside the round transition piece and pushing the disc tightly into the transition piece and up against the ridge stop. You must also use a flow ring when doing a depressurization test. You cannot test with open fan. Secure both the flow ring and round transition piece to the fan inlet flange using the black connecting trim. You will also need to connect a tube from the channel B reference tap 
to the plastic pressure tap on the outside of the round transition piece. You are now ready to perform the test.